Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Healthy Relationships Project. My name is Miss Katie, and today we are going to be learning all about our body. Everybody has a body, and all of our bodies are amazing. Our bodies let us do so many things. Just today, my body let me brush my teeth, eat breakfast, walk around the house, water plants, pet a cat, dance, tie my shoes. I did so many things with my body today. Bodies are amazing tools, and that's why we work so hard to keep them safe. There's lots of different rules that help us keep our bodies safe. We learned them before. We ask before touching other people's bodies so that everyone feels safe and comfortable. When our feelings get really big, we ask for help so that grown-ups can make sure our bodies stay safe no matter how we feel. We make sure that nobody gets too close and if they feel too close and makes us uncomfortable, we tell them, please back up. That makes sure our body stays safe too. We buckle our seat belts, we eat healthy foods, we look both ways before crossing the street. We work hard to keep our bodies safe because our bodies are amazing. So we're going to read a book all about our bodies called Your Body is Awesome. Let's learn about our amazing bodies a little bit more. Everybody has a body. We live in our bodies. It's like our house. Look at all these different bodies swimming. I see jumping bodies, bodies splashing, bodies with their feet in the water, bodies staying dry. There's all sorts of bodies and bodies let us do amazing things. Bodies are amazing instruments that allow us to do all sorts of exciting things. Like jumping up and down. Can you jump up and down with, home, with me at home just like this? They let us dance. Can you do your best disco arms like this? They let us splash. Bodies are fun. I see all kinds of different ways to have fun with bodies. And all of these bodies are good bodies. There's no such thing as a bad body. Everybody is a good body. Our bodies can make us feel good. Like when we get a foot rub or snuggle up on the sofa or when somebody pats our back at bedtime. It's nice to have a body. So there's lots of ways we can be kind to other people's bodies, but should I just run up and start rubbing your feet? Um, no, that would be very uncomfortable. I always ask before touching because not everybody likes having their feet touched. Do I just start patting you on your back when you're going to sleep? Uh, no, you might not like that touches today. So if I would like to touch your back, I have to ask first. Anytime we wanna to touch somebody's body, we have to ask first. But if they say it's okay, then hugs and high fives and fist bumps are awesome. Bodies are a lot of fun. Bodies are smart. They let us know what they need to stay well and feel good. But bodies don't use words to talk to us. They use feelings. They send us messages about what they need by the way we feel. Like when we feel hungry and your belly growls and you know that you need food, our body is telling us it needs food to fill it up. When we feel full, like we go, oh, I eat too much and our bellies feel all bloated. That's our body saying it's had enough for now. When we feel tired, our body is letting us know that ooh, ooh, it needs more rest. But when we wake up energized and ready to go, our body is letting us know it's fully rested. So our body lets us know what it needs, but it's not like my belly says, hey, we're hungry, send food. It might growl or feel empty, or if I eat too much, it feels full but my body always lets me know what it needs. It's important to listen to our body. What happens if our body lets us know that it has to go to the bathroom, but we don't listen? Uh-oh, if I didn't listen when my body has to go, I'm gonna be doing the gotta go dance all day, or I might even have an accident. That's not good. I always listen to my body. It's also important that adults listen to us when we tell them what's happening in our body. 
When we say that we're full or tired or need to use the bathroom, adults should listen because our bodies know best. So if I tell my mom that I have to go to the bathroom, mom should help me find a bathroom because my body knows best. If I tell dad that I'm hungry for dinner, well, I hope dad helps me find dinner because my body knows best. If I tell my cousin that I don't want hugs today, my cousin should listen because my body knows best. And if I tell my sister, please back up, my sister should back up because my body knows best. Everybody else can listen to your body too. It's your body, you're in charge. You get to make the rules. You decide if things are too hot or too cold, too close or not close enough. If you want touches today or no thank you, you get to make those rules. It's your body and you're in charge. Try closing your eyes and traveling down into your belly. How do you feel in there? Is it hungry or full or neither? My body's a little bit hungry. How about yours? We can listen to our bodies by being very quiet and paying very close attention. That way, our body can tell us what it needs. Stretch out your toes and fingers in all directions. Try feeling your hands and your feet, your mouth and your ears. When you breathe deeply, feel the air come in through your nose, go down in your lungs and go back out the same way. That's your body and your body is amazing. So stretching and moving, smacking and whittling, even breathing. Our body does so many amazing things. Your body is brilliant. It makes your heart beat and the blood pump through your veins. It digests your food and makes you grow bigger and stronger every day. Can you flex those muscles and just go, oh, look at my strong muscles. They get bigger every day. It makes your hair and your fingernails grow. It heals your cuts and bruises, and it fights illness and infection. Your body is a good body, and look at all this stuff in our bodies. We have brains and hearts. We have bones and muscles. We have hair and fingernails. Our bodies are amazing bodies. Everybody is different. Some bodies are tall and other bodies are short. Some bodies are big and other bodies are smaller. Some have curly hair and some have straight hair. Some have dark skin and some have light skin. Everybody is unique. Unique means totally special, one of a kind. There's only one you. Your body is unique because you're the only one of you. Your body is special and it's just for you. Just imagine if human beings were flowers. Wouldn't it be boring if all the flowers in the world were exactly the same? We want all sorts of flowers so we can make big, beautiful bunches. We also want there to be all sorts of birds and animals. And it's much more fun to color with lots of crayons instead of just one. It's wonderful that everything is so different. So all the things that make us different from other people make us special. There's only one you, and that's amazing. We need all of our different bodies to make this world an interesting and fun place. We don't just want one crayon, we want all the crayons. We don't just want one pet, we want everyone to have lots of different cats and dogs. So all of us having different bodies makes the world more awesome too. Because all bodies are good bodies. A tall body's not better than a short body. They're just different. Big and little bodies are also different. Neither is better than the other. They're just different. Like pink and green. They're both good colors. They're just different. Or tulips and daisies. So things can be different and both be awesome. It's important to feel good about your body and be happy about the way you are. It's also important to let others be happy with how they are. 
we don't need to be like anybody but ourselves. Be kind to your body and treat it with love because your body is your friend and you will live in it your whole life. Now I see she has given her body and he has given his body a great big hug. Can we give our bodies a great big hug and say thank you body? Just like that. Because our bodies are amazing and they do so much for us. I love learning about all of our different body parts and the things they do. Like arms that let us dance or eyes that let us see. Noses that let us hold underwater or breathe really big on land. I like learning about toes that wiggle and mouths num, 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 that taste healthy food. Our bodies are amazing. And all of our body parts do important jobs to keep us safe. Now, we also have body parts that we didn't see in those books. And those are called private body parts. Private parts are the parts of your body that are covered up when you wear a bathing suit. And all of those body parts are special and important too. We just make sure they're only for us because that keeps them safe. So nobody else should look at or touch private body parts except maybe to keep them clean or healthy. I actually have a friend with me named Baby Jojo. And Baby Jojo needs a lot of help. Baby Jojo wears a diaper. He can't keep his body parts clean all by himself. So grown-ups are allowed to take diapers off to keep private body parts clean and healthy. But you're a big kid, so do you need as much help in the bathroom as a baby does? No way. The older we get, the less help we need. So people shouldn't look at or touch private body parts as much anymore. People can look at privates to keep them clean, like changing a baby's diaper, or sometimes to keep them healthy. We all go to the doctor sometimes, and doctors might have to look at private parts to make sure they're healthy. That can feel a little weird, but it's okay to do as long as the doctor asks your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa first, and maybe mom or dad can stay in the room with you to make sure everything's okay. So people can look at or touch privates to keep them clean or to keep them healthy, but nobody should look at privates for any other reason. If they break that safety rule and look at or show privates, we can always ask a grown-up for help. There, we have lots of different rules that keep our bodies safe when it comes to private and public places too. A public place is a very busy place with lots of different people. Places that we don't know everybody who's there. If you go to Walmart, Walmart's a public place because I don't know everybody at Walmart. If you go to the park, the park's a public place because there's lots of folks there and we don't know all of them. Public places could be Chuck E. Cheese. Public places could be church. Public places could be the grocery store. There's lots of different places that everybody goes, and those are public places. So in public places, we keep our bodies covered up because that keeps them safe. And if anyone breaks those rules and shows bodies in a public place, remember, we can always ask for help. Some places are private places, and private means it's a place that's just for you and maybe a grown-up who helps. Like when you're in the bathroom, should all of your friends be in there with you? Um, no. We close the door when we use the bathroom because we need privacy, time that's just for us. Should everybody in the store be giving you opinions when you're trying on new clothes? No, the dressing room at a store is just for you and maybe a grown up who's helping you try on clothes. There should not be lots of different people in there. You need privacy, time that's just for you. When you are in the bathroom, when you're changing into PJs in your bedroom, at a store when you're trying on new clothes, all of these are private places where it's just you and maybe a grown up who helps. But if your cousin keeps walking in when you're using the shower because he's bored, you can ask for help. Nobody should break the rules about private places. Or if somebody keeps opening the door when you're trying to change, you can ask for help. Nobody should break the rules about private places. Our bodies are amazing, which means 
We make rules to keep them safe. So nobody should look at or touch private body parts except to keep them clean and healthy. When we're in public places with lots of different people, our bodies stay covered to keep them safe. And if we're changing or using the bathroom, that's when we need privacy or time that's just for us. If anybody breaks those rules, you can always ask a grown-up for help. You can ask one grown-up, but if they don't help you, you could ask a second or three or five or 10. You get to keep asking for help until somebody helps you. Nice job learning about bodies, everybody. Because our bodies are so special and we did an awesome job learning these rules, let's do one more thing together. We are going to do a very fun game where we draw our bodies with our eyes totally closed. All right. Here I go. I'm going to use the computer, but you can use a piece of paper to try it at home. Let's see how we do it together. I'm going to close my eyes and I'll draw a face. And I'll draw two eyes. I'll draw a nose. I'll draw a smiling mouth with some teeth, some hair, maybe an arm and a hand. I need legs and feet. Oh boy. <laughs> that doesn't look like a body at all, but I do see one eye, a nose, and teeth. So I'll give myself three points. How many points can you get? Can you draw a face, two eyes, a nose, a mouth, ears, eyebrows, arms? Close your eyes, draw a picture of a body, and see how close you can get it to a real body. Thanks so much for learning with me, everybody. So remember, your body is an awesome body, and we can give it a big hug and say thank you, body, for everything it does. Our bodies are so special, and that's why we work to keep them safe. We have rules to keep our bodies safe. Like, nobody should look at private body parts except to keep them clean and healthy. In public places, with lots of different people, we keep our bodies covered to keep them safe. And when we need to change or use the bathroom, that's when we need privacy or time that's just for us and maybe a grown up who helps. But nobody else gets to break those rules. If somebody breaks the privacy rules, remember, we can always ask a grown up for help. Thanks for learning with me, everybody. Stay safe. And until next time, have fun.